In this video, I'll show you how to find the degree of a function. Let's jump in and look at an example. Let's say we had f of x equals 2x to the fifth minus 3x squared plus x. So we're interested in functions of one variable. In this case, the function is dependent on x. So the degree is simply the largest value of all the exponents. So how do we find it? How many terms do we have? We have one, two, three terms. And what are their exponents? Well, the first term has an exponent of 5. The second term has an exponent of 2. And the third term, the exponent is missing. So if it's not uh, written, we know that it's a 1. So the value of the exponent of the third term is 1. So the largest exponent is 5. Therefore, the degree is 5. Let's look at another example. Let's say we had f of x equals 3x squared plus 4. OK. Let's look at, the ex at how many terms we have. We have 1, 2 terms. Let's look at the exponents. Now we'll notice that the second term doesn't have an exponent. In that case, what we're really saying is that it's 4x to the 0, because anything to the exponent 0 is equal to 1. And then, of course, that would just leave you with the 4. 4 times 1 is 4. So if we wanted to find the degree, the, degree of the, uh, the value of the exponent of the first term is 2. The value of the exponent of the second term is 0. The largest exponent is 2. Therefore, the degree is 2. Now, why is this important? Let's take a look. Well, there's two reasons why this is important. The first is that it'll tell us the number of possible solutions of the function. And the second, it'll tell us the number of possible intercepts for the function. So for example, let's take a look at f of x equals x squared minus 9. OK. Well, we've got two terms. What's the largest value of the exponent here? The largest value is 2, so the degree is 2. That means that there are uh, two possible solutions to this. Could be less, okay, but it can't be any more than 2. And there are two possible, in this case, x-intercepts, because we are talking about a degree dependent on the function x. Could be less, but there are uh, two possible intercepts. And that's it. You now know how to find the degree of a function in one variable and why it's important.